Hey guys, welcome back. Fix my hair, Colton with Bear Scare Beauty back again. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, and Twitch, same way it's spelled here, Bear Scare Beauty. Uh, I upload Wednesday slash Thursday, stream Thursday, Friday, Saturday-ish, all that stuff. Got my brows glued down. We're doing a thing. Uh, the reason why we're doing a thing is I got... You focused? This is the Trixie Cosmetics Daytime Realness Palette. Uh. I realize I'm just looking at the camera with like dead eyes and I don't know why, but I did actually swatch this earlier. It's so cute. VHS. I love it. It's cyan and magenta. I love, I love all that. I love all that. Um, and I just like blue eyeshadow. I like red and I like blue. So this is blue. I love it. I'll, uh, I'll insert the swatch picture I have. I'm just trying to get it in there. Uh, so far, the blues look really good. Blues seem to be kind of hard. I don't really know why, but they seem to be kind of hard, so we'll see how these go. Uh, so, let's get into the palette. I'm gonna pull you guys in just a little bit closer. A scotch. Scratch my ass. My ass. Wow, the Eco Tools. Uh, Bio Blender, the biodegradable one. Yes, it was a dumb purchase. I don't use sponges that often though. I actually really like it. A, I love that it's like, you can hold it really easily. Uh, B, I love the full round. C, it's really firm. It's a lot firmer than any sponge I've used and it just, it works really good. So if you need to buy new sponges, it's like $6 and it's biodegradable. As I try not to emote my face at all. We're gonna do foundation first, like I said, I'm just hourglass vanish foundation. And then for concealer, I'm gonna use Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic and the BH Pro concealer. Uh, that's, I'm just gonna skip all that. Okay, I got the upper half of the face on, that's fine. Fine, whatever, rude. Uh, I'm just gonna sketch out where like the eyeliner is gonna be. So let's do that real quick. Not even at all, but it's fine. Let's get to the realness, shall we? <laughs> I'm gonna use all of them actually. So we're gonna take, we're first gonna dip into Weather Girl. It's the really like neon blue. It's like an ocean neon blue. It's cyan. It's cyan. I like it. Now I'm gonna trace a lot. So this is like the, the eyelid, right? I'm changing up. This is, this isn't Madge. This is Fatal. This is Fatal. I need a bigger mirror than that. Honey, I guess if you're doing it like that. God, I look insane. I forgot how crazy drag brows make me look. There's got, I, there is just no good place for me to hold this that isn't like blocking light and I don't, I don't know what's up with that, but you know, we'll figure it out. Okay, well, I lost all the pigment when stamping it on, so that's not really a good sign. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Okay. It's not terrible. It's not really showing up, which I guess defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do here. By the way, the, the foundation is still kind of tacky, so it shouldn't really be an issue. Maybe the shade's just a dud, so... That's why we're trying it, Tracy. Fuck with my money, Tracy. Maybe it just doesn't cling to the brow texture of a Sasquatch. Which... I mean... It is called daytime realness, so I suppose it's only for real women serving fish. Biological. That's like my favorite, like, like meme is like, like, like AMAB people using like the giant biological fans as memes. It's very, it's very good. It, it brings joy to my soul. 
seeing them live their best life and out memeing the turfs. I'm really, ch I'm, uh, I'm, is this actually showing up better on camera than it is in person? It's not really showing up in person, which is kind of the issue I'm having. I am blocking all of my light. What is going on? Hold on. Better? Maybe? Kinda? Yeah. Okay, fine. We're going to do that. Look, I'm really building it up. That's not a bad thing to have to build something up. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's a pretty color. I'm do the other eye real quick and we'll move on. I got that blue on. Oh, once again, that was Weather Girl. Ooh, God, I might not be able to use the indigo. I'll use, I'll use Daily Double. No, this is, the next one I'm gonna use is Channel Surfer. It's this one right here. It's so pretty. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm some kind of degenerate. Probably look at the camera more, but we all know that's not gonna happen. Now, this is really similar to one of the uh, la, 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 Jubius Place Blue. So this one actually has a lot to live up to if it's gonna... Okay. Once again, kind of weird. I, I'm, I'm gently patting. And all the pigment goes down, which is fine. But then it kind of just disappears, I guess? I don't know. Oh, it's a notification from TikTok. I never really use TikTok anymore. I was really into it for like a month and then I'm just like, mm, you know, it just stopped being the business for me. I don't know, I had one viral TikTok where I just, I, <laughs> I talked about the, the whatever company that makes Silly Putty gendering Silly Putty and that got like half a million views and I don't know why. And then I don't know, everything else that I get is like a couple thousand views, but I was just like, oh, why, why that one? Why is it the dumbest thing that I could ever imagine is just like, oh yeah, this is the, the viral sensation sweeping the nation. Obviously it's not that big because I'm sure nobody's ever seen it or heard of it. But it's like, why? But for why did you make this one popular? TikTok algorithm? Twas just me talking about the absurdity of gendering silly putty. More specifically, gendering silly putty in a way that you know those depicted are heterosexuals. But then there was the rare homosexuals. Ooh, what a naughty caprice! Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. This is what happens when your car breaks down, you can't fix it, so now you have to buy a new car, which is not great. Um, and then you have such a bad migraine in the morning because you haven't had caffeine because you haven't been able to get to the store. You spend $20 having a coffee post made to you because you're losing your goddamn mind at work. Smile through the pain, fly into the moon, and let me play among the stars. Okay, um... God, I think I'm gonna try to, to build Channel Surfer up more because it's just, <sighs> it's weird. It's not really giving me what I want, but then suddenly it is, you know? I think this, this shadow might be a little fickle, which I'm not, uh, I don't know. Obviously this is going on over my brows, which the glue is coming up. So that's not super great, but like, 
you know, it's fine. It's a fine blue, and I do really like blue eyeshadow. If you're, once again, this is, once again, I haven't even said that in this video. If you're just like a one and done kind of person and you want some color, this is good. It's a, a decent price range. I think it's like $25, $30 with shipping. Sucks. Tracy. Getting, making us pay an arm and a leg for domestic shipping. No, um, I'll let you know what I think at the end of the video, but so far it's decent. It's not bad. Okay. I mean, it's pretty good so far. By the way, I, my, my face look is always going to be banana nuts. So I'm just, that's how it's going to be. Let's move on to the deeper one. I'm going to dip into cut the cameras. Dead ass. It's like a slate, like a slaty gray. I, ooh, I really hope this isn't like too pigmented because that might cause an issue. Which side did I dip in? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start you down here. There's nothing, congratulations, there's nothing. Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? I know I'm hilarious. No, really though. Where are you? I'm being ghosted by this eyeshadow palette already. Jesus. Damn, Trixie really took my money and ran with this one. Holy shit. Like, once again, I get it. It's going over eyebrows. I'm not expecting it to fill in my my every nook and cranny in my eyebrows, but maybe, maybe something. Wow, that's kind of bad, actually. It just looks really, um, like really muddy. Because when I swatched this, that was not at all the color that it looked like, like at all. Sorry, I'm like completely blocking the camera because I'm just trying to see if what I'm seeing is real. I'm a little disappointed. Hold on, let me, I'm just, I, I got a little concealer on my arm right there. I guess this is just the color. Well, I don't like that. I'm gonna have to get a black from another palette to kind of blend into that. Hold please while I just buff out these edges a little bit. Yeah, wow, that just made it look super muddy. Okay. Um, damn. I'm gonna have to try this palette in a different, like, hmm, hmm. Now watch, it's gonna look fabulous on this side of my face. What do you fucking know? I hate my face sometimes. I truly do. Cause like on this side, it, It immediately looks better. Wowza. You know what, skin? You're a... I don't know, maybe it's just because there's so much more on the brush when I go in on this. Oh, no, it's starting to come off. It's starting to look just like the other side. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to get a black from another palette. Wow, it's uh, it's got a lot of fallout too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's got a lot of fallout. I don't know about this one, guys. I'm just looking at myself in the, the viewfinder down. It's not great. God, it's really weird because it's like, it's like dark gray black here, dark gray black here, and then like light gray here. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get this. I really don't. I mean, like, it blends well, which is, I guess, a plus side, but as for, like, it doesn't... 
Because, okay, in the pan, it looks nearly black. It's not, it's not black, it's clearly not black, but it's like a slate gray. This is not a slate gray. Tracy, have you played me? Did you play me? I think she played us. I think she played us all. Moving on. Just taking glitter glue and I'm gonna kind of carve out where my, my eyelid's gonna be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do soap star on like the lid lid, televangelista on the inner corner, and then I might top it all off with static because static is more of a glitter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my fingy for that because why not? Why not, huh? I'm gonna, there we go. I pull this in much closer. That might help. Ooh, 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 that is really pretty. That is pretty. Um, it is very frosty. So if you're not into like a frosty kind of glitter, you might not be into this. Also, if you're me, you're putting it on literally the worst place you could ever put glitter, which is your brows. So it's just gonna... So it's just gonna enhance all the texture. Enhance. God. I'm gonna use a pencil brush and I'm gonna use that televangelista. Ooh, see that is pretty. How does that catch on the light? Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, that is pretty. That is, if you're a, if you're a makeup company and you can't make a good shimmer, there is something wrong, actually. This is a good shimmer, but what I just said, I mean, it is beautiful, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to my guns on that. If you can't make a good shimmer as a makeup company, you really have no business making makeup. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna just, oh God. I might, oh no. This liner is an absolute hit or a miss, so we're gonna see if it ruins the look or not. Oh, those are two completely different shaped eyelids, but that's fine. Yeah, this is not the best liner for this. I don't know why, it's it's literally just this specific one that I have. The, the little stopper and it's broken, so it bleeds a lot, so it kind of bled right there. I don't know if you can really tell how uneven or misshapen those are, but it's gonna stay like that. Uh, once it dries down, I'm gonna hit it again with more of that gray just to see if I can get some magic to happen. I need to, I need, I need. Uh, I'm gonna move on and just like kind of finish up the rest of my face and we'll be right back. And we'll be right back. Okay, I got like 90% of the face on. I'm just gonna do a little highlighting. I'm gonna do the under eye though. I'm gonna try to keep it simple because I just, I don't really wanna ruin this. Even though what I got going on right here is pretty wrecked. It's whatever. Uh, I'm gonna use Zenith. I'm burping. I'm gonna use Zenith. It's like the lighter gray. And we're gonna kind of use that to sketch out my lower line. And I'm just using it on like the tippy tip of this brush. Probably gonna have to clean up my under eye a little bit. So my eyes are very, very, very asymmetrical. So what looks like the under eye of one eye does not look like the under eye of the other. 
Getting them symmetrical is very challenging. Very, very challenging. Okay, one sec. I'm just gonna try to take or the powder that I have. Actually, I don't know why it matters because I'm gonna smoke it out anyways. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna dip back into that uh, cut the cameras and we're gonna see if I can get this to work at all. I know this is old news, but I've got the kids bop version, kids bop? Kids bop version of WAP stuck in my head. Cause yeah, I'm messing with some wings and pizza. Yeah, I think this just doesn't work on um, glue because this is definitely a much better shade. how I'm using it here than it was on my eyes. So, I mean, that's okay. I'll give, I'll give that shade a pass. It's serviceable. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. Um, now, since I, I, I'm using everything, I'm gonna use Daily Double. And I'm gonna use that to kind of smoke that out, see how that treats us. Ooh! Oh, that is good combo. As the kids would say, poggers. Oh, I like that. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, okay. This is, this is that two great tastes that taste great together type thing. Like, I'm just gonna go back and cut the cameras. I almost said Zenith. Wow, okay. <laughs> Those colors actually layer beautifully together. Oh my God. It turns into almost like a, a cobalt blue. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, hey, baby. I'm not singing it, but the song that I think I was singing nearly just turned into Kiss from a Rose in my brain. That's not the song. Okay. Um, I need to get up and I need to grab my Inglot Duraline. Give me two seconds. What else does myself, baby? I can feel you from a kiss from a rose. I'm gonna whiten up the under eyes. Um, so God, this is a very nice white. It's the color pop in Exit, but it's so dry that you you have to use Duraline. Um, otherwise, it like. So I tried to use it right here and it just like peeled off my face because I didn't use Duraline with it. Which is not a great quality to have in a product, but we'll work around it. Oh yeah. Like the Duraline just immediately makes it so creamy and emollient. There we go, and I'm actually able to blend it. So good news, Scare Cubs. I think I'm manic again, so y'all might get videos two times a week again, if you're into that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to make like an under eye. Okay, the eyes have it. <laughs> oh, hold on, since this is a palette from Trixie, I'm gonna try Static. It's the like silver gl uh, glitter. It's pretty much a topper, but I just want to try it. Ooh. It is pretty much just a glitter, but it's pretty. And uh, I don't really care where this gets at this point, because this top liner is a little rough. 
So we're just gonna hope that that glitter fixed it. What do we think? What do we think, bays? Oh, hold on. We're gonna highlight. Honestly, tell me that that highlighter from NYX from eight years ago is not an absolute, that highlighter's actually probably seven years old. Okay. And lips. What do we think, boys? Would you let Miss Fatal Valentine tie you to a bed and steal your kidneys? <laughs> Without any lashes on or a wig or nails or heels in a t-shirt with eyeliner all over your arm because you're too lazy to get a paper towel. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. This contour is a little uneven. <laughs> it's fine. Anyways, my camera's about to die. What do we think? Yeah, so final thoughts while I'm waiting on my camera to die. Hold on. Okay, I changed my battery. This contour is uneven. I can't even tell if I'm in focus because there's so much powder in my eyes right now. Um, daytime realness. It's super cute. It's really fun. I love the color story. I mean, this is like, I wear blues a lot. A lot, a lot. I will occasionally just blue on the eye a little bit, a little bit of garage door going on, just cause. Um, honestly, standout shades, probably, combination of Cut the Camera and Daily Dose, that's pretty. Uh, on its own, Cut the Camera can leave. Not great, doesn't work well in the brows. Was okay right here. It's probably better over an eye primer. Like honestly, you know, whatever, anything's gonna be better over an eye primer. Um, Weather Girl, that like cyan was really pretty once I built it up. So, also, the shimmers are all pretty good, except for static, that's just depressed glitter. Your mile, mileage? Your mile. Your mileage may vary. I gotta clean up right there a little bit, because I kind of painted outside the lines. But, uh, yeah. This is what we got. What do we think? What do we feel? <sighs> for the price, I'd recommend it, if you like Trixie and if you like blues. I think it's a good quality palette. It's cute. It's actually built really nice. It's like, it's very thick. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything. I like it. Um, I'll probably have a posthumous review of it later just to see if I keep using it, how I keep liking it. Yeah, I mean, I reach for blues quite a bit. I've done a lot of blue looks over on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, oh, actually, hold on. I wanna see how this whole look looks with a little bit of Krylon fixing powder. Mm. Oh. Yes, that is hairspray, thank you very much. Ooh. You know, I don't know what it is about a good fixing powder, but it just goes from like, like drag queen to like woman. Nobody would mistake me for a woman. Let's not. Wow. Anyways, getting out of hand for a palette review. That's this tiny. I like the palette. Buy it if you want to. This is a palette that I'd be like, yeah, no, I'd be happy recommending it to somebody if you really like blues. I think it's really pretty. It's relatively versatile. If you just, just pops a color, just pops a blue, a little bit of gray. Very, very 1960s, 1970s slash 80s housewife. Like black, blue, eyeliner to here. Eyeliner to here, to here. See it right here. Anyways. I like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, Bear Scare Beauty, same way it's spelled here, and Twitch. Uh, yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a, my, my little scare cubs, I love you. I hope you have a good day, week, month, or year. Bye.